Yo, what's up chats? Today we got a couple of things to go over and I just want to get right into it. If you're new here, I cover all the big gaming news, so if a chat like you is into that, uh, then subscribe. And our first story is about the PS5 and Sony confirms that it is gonna be a tall boy. And I'm kind of sad actually. I'm gonna explain why in just a little bit, but we're hearing the fact that like PS5 large size help is stay cool. PlayStation confirms. And we have the direct quote. And this one I believe is coming from McLaren. I don't want to assume genders. Like I think it's a she, but could be a heap Sony boss, right? Matt McLaren. So definitely a heap, but I don't want to assume genders. His simple answer was, hey, because of thermals, you know, like the, the thermals, guys, the, the thermals, okay? And he explains that this gen is little supercomputers while the 7nm process delivers amazing heat performance for the power. The power is very extreme. And in other words, this tech needs to stay cool. So larger casing is a must. And you know what? I, I'm, a, I'm a PS4 Pro holder and I'm not sure about you guys. I'm not sure where you guys are at though. Let me know in the comments below. But I live in the northern areas. Like I, I live in the Canada. You may have heard about this country. It gets uh, wild out here. It gets cold uh, in the winter time, especially, you know, we go down below like zero and uh, it, it gets wild out here. So we Canadians have found a workaround, right? Like sometimes we let our PS4 Pro on even when we're not gaming, even when we're gaming. It's just like a cool thing to have on, especially if you want to keep your feet warm, right? So I like to actually use this thing, especially in the winter time. It's a really good heater. So the fact that now PS4 Pro is going to stay cool, I I'm kind of sad, actually. Of course, <laughs> I'm effing with you. I mean, it's a really good news that it's going to stay cool. But of course, like come Modern Warfare 2, like Call of Duty 2021, that game is probably going to be like 500 gigabytes. And you know what? As soon as you start that up, boom, PS5 fans act up like a jet. So to all the people who used to use PS4 Pro as a heater, hey, I, I think we're gonna be there. It's probably gonna take a year or two. We gotta wait till Modern Warfare 2 comes out, right? Okay. Uh, but on the other hand, this one is coming from Glitching Queen and she actually put up this image out and there are a lot of scientists that are baffled about that one, needless to say. And she says that do not know if this is real or not, but someone briefly saw the listing for a PS5 on the French Amazon side, or I should say a French Amazon side. Uh, pricing for the USD would be $499 with the disc and $399 digital show release date of November 20th. And you know what? This image got a lot of scientists to be kind of baffled uh, because you know what? It shows the release date, says that cet article paraîtra le 20 novembre 2020. In other words, says that it's going to be releasing on November 20th. I do believe this release date. I think it's legit because I've seen other websites kind of mention the same thing. I believe that there was an Amazon listing that happened like a long time ago that also said November 20th. And it does make a lot of sense because Sony is definitely want to put this baby out on the shelves before Christmas. They want to get the moolah coming in. They want to make sure like the parents look at the router and they go with the router and not the fridge. I'm like, let me know which console you guys are going with. I definitely want to know where you experts and scientists are at though, but Sony want to put this out before December, right? And I would expect mid to late November and early December, but that's like pushing it. I think it's going to be November and that's what this listing is saying. And you can see there are a lot of scientists baffled, a, a lot of people not sure like if this is legit or not. Uh, but it says 499 euros or pounds, right? And there has been a lot of listings. Some are saying it's going to be $1,000, $900, $700. And I do think all of them are placeholders. And I definitely don't think Sony is going to go that heavy. And I actually covered the fact that an X. Xbox employee said that it's gonna be $499. It's not gonna be above $499, that's for sure. And I believe that, of course, he knows something that we don't. He's definitely working. He used to work, I should say, in the Xbox marketing department. So he knows how the marketing works, this and that. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna be over $499. And that's what this listing is kind of convincing us. But of course, there was another Amazon listing that was PS5 2 terabyte that said that it's gonna be 599 pounds, but it said 599 even for one terabyte version so needless to say a lot of placeholders like do not let your dogs out but i think this one seems more plausible but what goes against the gravity it says that the digital version is going to be 399 dollars this goes against the laws of physics guys and uh, i touched this briefly in my last video i was like hey guys it's going to be 50 dollars cheaper i don't think it's going to be 100 dollars cheaper but you know me like i presented that theory i always like to have those theories right i was like it can be 100 dollars cheaper only if sony is ready right like if sony's like you know what let's deliver a digital only console because of course it's going to warm people up to the idea because in the near 
future they want to get rid of this guys so definitely hold on to your disc and smash the like button they want to get rid of that and they want to warm people up to the idea of digital only and they're gonna make a lot of moolah off of you they're gonna profit off of you big man if you buy games digitally in the future and not disc because printing discs having those cover arts those boxes putting them on shelves like shipping that game you know importing exporting all that it costs money guys okay so if they can cut that they're gonna be profiting off of this thing huge right and of course if they get you to buy that digital version they're gonna be pushing a lot of memberships out your way probably gonna have ps now ps plus and hopefully not but uh, you know ps1 ps2 ps3 backwards compatibility where you pay 70 dollars a year and uh, you can take the baby home and I, I you know what that's where fridge has a leg of like xbox got the backwards compatibility and i'm a sucker of backwards compatibility guys i really want to see backwards compatibility make a huge play only ps4 backwards compatibility is confirmed as of right now uh and it also does say uh that hey i love it as they like well that just means lightning speed you know they are boasting about the gpu the and disk ssd personalize uh so ssd disk personalized says camera cask charger de mana that's like uh controller chargers mana that's like a controller ps5 ps5 digital edition telecommand uh, i i think this listing is legit but of course a lot of scientists are baffled i definitely want to know your expertise in the comments below on the flip side tom henderson put up this tweet and says that oh my it's huge and we got the irl image and you know what uh this image got a lot of scientists this scientist said that hey that's a bad photoshop but billy said hey that's not a photoshop so a lot of scientists are baffled of course this image is real uh first of all i gotta show this to you guys this is sitting horizontally and look at my man just chilling out here it's gonna be a thick boy okay and sony kind of confirmed that technically not really uh they kind of confirmed it allegedly i would say uh, but it's gonna be sitting horizontally too the reason a lot of scientists are baffled is because uh hey like look at that xbox right i think this is an xbox one i, I could be wrong i'm not a, a xbox guy i'm a sony pony but look at those hard edges right look, those hard shadows and right here we ain't got no shadow there are a little bit of it right here but nothing here and of course the usb ports are like literally stickers so a lot of scientists are baffled they think it's not legit but even if it's not legit this is a pretty good a to a comparison like this shows us how tall this is gonna be and it do be looking pretty good but i'm not sure how this is gonna work out with the homies like i'm personally gonna let it sit there i'm gonna let it do its thing i ain't got no kids running around but i know that a lot of people will be putting this thing in their living rooms maybe they're not gonna have enough space maybe they're gonna have space but they got like kids running around maybe they got wives that they need to hide and i'm gonna be honest hide your wives put your kids to bed and smash the like button but it is a very tall boy it's mega and on the flip side we're also hearing reports about the fact that and this one is coming from venture beats reporter jeff grubb basically the guy who leaked the sony pony ps5 reveal accurately and says that ea doesn't want to showcase the next battlefield game quote it's still far enough that it shouldn't make an appearance here dice is working on a return to modern combat and that's like what we heard previously and uh, that's kind of sad and initially i thought the same i was like hey battlefield 6 is next year so they're definitely not gonna reveal the game this year they're gonna if anything they're gonna reveal it next year because it makes sense to do it next year and certainly not this year i i think we're way too early but a lot of people got sus and myself included when battlefield they kind of removed their logo like it used to be like v but now it's like a simple battlefield black logo and they also just changed their background as well and now it, it shows basically all the battlefield games like that's battlefield 3 that's uh battlefield bad company 2 vietnam dlc uh hardline we got a mayhem right here and we also have battlefield 4 character artwork right here so needless to say it's just like an all-out battlefield but the fact that they changed their logo and removed it, that's where I'm kind of sus, I'm not gonna lie. There has been a lot of rumors, a lot of leaks that say that Battlefield 3 Remaster is gonna happen. There was a YouTuber who accurately leaked Battlefield 1 and Battlefield 5 stuff who leaked the fact that Battlefield 3 Remaster is real and it's gonna happen soon. And he deleted his video and a lot of speculation says that he deleted because, you know what, EA, they, they knocked on the door and they were like, hey man, you gotta... You gotta remove that video so maybe he removed it because of that and there is a lot of theories that hey what if he got stuff wrong and he just simply did not want it to cause rumors that's why he ended up taking the video down like a lot of people believe battlefield 3 remaster is gonna happen a lot of people believe it's not gonna happen people who believe it's gonna happen are saying that it's gonna happen like next year alongside battlefield 6 but it wouldn't make sense if battlefield 6 is also a modern day game y you know what i mean and a lot of people are also assuming that it's gonna happen 
how you did 2020 with PS5 and Xbox Series X and that seems plausible if Battlefield 3 Remaster is legit and I really hope it is like I, I want to know life on not shark canals 24 7 once again like I, I used to love that and I would love to actually replay it once again so I'm really hoping it's legit but if it's really legit I think we're gonna hear about it at EA Play but Jeff Grubb says hey doesn't say anything about Battlefield 3 Remastered though I, I would assume the leaks are not true then uh, but you know what we only have to wait one day so I'm definitely gonna be live streaming for you guys and all that good stuff in terms of Call of Duty 2020 there isn't anything new whatsoever I I, I do be catching the big side you know it uh, it, 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 it uh, do be like this okay but as soon as we have anything about Call of Duty 2020 I know a lot of you guys have been asking me there isn't anything new but as soon as there is I'm definitely gonna make a video about it other than that hey like and subscribe click on any of the video on the screen you're gonna get a kick of dopamine and I will see you right there